Welcome to ZTN Sports Daily on a Wednesday. This is where you get the latest stories from the world of sport. And we have plenty coming your way. Today on the show, Vol FC Platinum be patient with Norman Makeza. We look at the court's position as he begins the CAF Champions League. It has been a bubble game and Zimbabwe cricket. The team's doctor gives us lessons learned. We saw the internet for some weird and wacky sports stories. And Jam's star Felicitas Kwango signs Kit Dill. And with just a day before she ends her isolation, is she ready for England's Vitality Super League? My name is Shamin Chasweka and you're watching Sports Daily right here on ZTN. First up, we talk cricket. It has been a bubble game in Zimbabwe, just like the rest of the world. And cricket in this part of the world is the only sport that has successfully been in and out of a bubble for domestic competitions. Local football is expected to have a mini league, also in a bubble. What lessons can other sporting disciplines learn from cricket? Well, the team caught up with Zimbabwe cricket team doctor Trevor Vambe to discuss on the bubble concept. We are, we are willing to, to share with other associations. Of course, the SRC, they have been very supportive. Uh, even when we, before we went to, to Pakistan, we had a, a, a pre-tour advanced team that visited to Pakistan to, to assess the situation and their preparedness in terms of COVID. So we learned a lot together with the uh, SRC. Still in domestic cricket, so the Rocks are back and they mean business. They have taken on board Northampton share batsman Ben Curran in their roster. It will be a county reunion for the left-handed opener who was teammates with Blessing Muzarabani, who is also playing for the same team. Zimbabwean-born Dutch cricketer Shane Snater is also training with the Rocks. Now we take a look at football. Vol FC Platinum give Norman Marqueza a chance to settle again and build on his own ideas. That is the biggest question as the Zimbabwe champions plunge into battle in the CAF Champions League. Now we cross over to football analyst Mako Mborero Mutimukulu to get his views. Um, Mako, you know, in the past, uh, FC Platinum's success under Marqueza was built on patience. And um, how much rob do you think Marqueza will be given um, in the second stint? Thank you, Shamayne. It's always a pleasure to join you. Uh, how long this will last <laughs> is determined by how long these guys will have patience with each other. There will always be days when the coach and the executive don't see eye to eye. In the past, there are days when Norman Mapes are threatened to walk away, and George Mawere, who was the, then the club president, would talk to him, make him cool down, and made him stay. But the dynamics have since changed. The last time Norman Mapeza was there, Mawere was president. Now he has come back. Fabian Mashinga is the, is the president. Will this new executive give Norman Mapeza the long rope that he was given the last time out? It remains to be seen. But the long and short of it, Shemaine, is that Norman Mapeza loves FC Platinum. So that's why he could never say no to them. Even on the day that he walked away, he swore never to come back. But because he loves the club, when he received the call, he said, I'm coming, but I'm coming with Daniel Verem. What do FC Platinum do? FC Platinum needs Norman Mapeza because the dynamics of the club, where it is situated, the money that is paid to the players, they need a coach like him. But for Norman Mapeza, you should bear in mind that each time a coach is fired in South Africa, Norman Mapeza's name pops up because of the job that he did at Chipper United. They still want him. Will FCB Platinum be able to hold on to Norman Mapeza when a South African club, for instance, like Marisberg, comes calling and says, we are ready to pay for his contract. We want him now. And we want him with Verem as well. It is a relationship between two parties who have shown that they can work together even when they argue. It is a combination of a coach who loves a team and a club that needs the coach. 
When Norman Mapeza was fired, they said, look, there are so many coaches that we can find. Go. But a few months down the line, they've turned back to the guy. They said, you can walk away. So how long this relationship will last, God knows. Um, but Marco, what are the chances they'll actually um, progress to the group stages this time around? Well, on this one, the trick is in how on having a good start, Charmaine. A good start. Go to Mozambique. Make sure that you come back with something to fight for when you play in Zimbabwe. You're going there, you're playing before an empty stadium. It's, it's, it's actually it's just a neutral venue, really. So go there and do the business. Has Norman Mapeza had enough time to instill what he wants in this club? M most definitely not. But the most important thing is the core of the squad that he left is still there. And they saw the addition of Silas Songani, Petros Mari is still there, Gift Bill is still there, Rafa Mduviwa is still there. So it's just a matter of saying, guys, remember what we used to do, let's do it again. Let's add Ralph Kawandera to the mix. It's all about having a good start. I think this is a competition that Nomen Mapeza wants. He studies it. He concentrates on how the opposition plays. I'm not sure if he has had time to run the ruler on the Mozambicans, but the trick is going to Mozambique on the charter flight this afternoon, going to win the game, drawing the game, or coming back here at least with something to fight for. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that was our football analyst, Makomborero Muchimukulu, giving us his views. Still in football, Bruno Fernandes says he turned down the chance to score his first Manchester United hat-trick to give Marcus Rashford a chance. Rashford converted from the sport in their Champions League 4-1 win over Istanbul Basakshi. Erling Broad Haaland has now scored in his past seven games in a row and his latest double against Club Bruges last night saw him reach 15 and 16 goals in Champions League in fewer games than any other player. Will PSG eventually win Group H? Well, Neymar's first half penalty helped ease the pressure on Boss Thomas' title as the French Giants leapfrogged RB Leipzig into second, but they remain three points behind Manchester United. Now, how important is Chelsea's win last night ahead of the Tottenham showdown? The Blues sealed their progress to the Champions League knockout stage with two games to spare as Olivier Giroud's late headers secured a victory at Rennes. They go into the weekend with less pressure. It wasn't Ronaldo, but Alvaro Morata. The Spanish striker continues to show his importance to Juventus. And last night, he scored a stoppage time winner to overcome Ferenc Varos and qualify for the Champions League knockout stages. Barcelona confirmed their qualification for the last 16 of the Champions League as they thrashed Dynamo Kyiv 4-0 in Group G. More UEFA fixtures are lined up today. Olympiacos face Manchester City. Liverpool are at home against Atlanta. Champions Bayern Munich face RB Salzburg. While Inter Milan are in a big clash against Real Madrid. Now, when we come back, we'll be giving you the trending and exciting sports stories from the internet. COVID-19, it's a very, very dangerous disease. So I'm encouraging you every day to sanitize and regularly wash your hands, maintain social distance, don't take it easy. Coronavirus is a very dangerous disease. COVID-19, it's very, very, very tricky. It is taking many lives per week according to the statistics. So let's practice hygienic to fight this pandemic. Coronavirus is very real. I hope I found you safe. I love you all. Let's... You're watching Sports Daily here on ZTN. Now to start off our weird and wacky sports stories, here is how playing football on unstable grounds and results. Ouch. Well, if you replay the video, you see his ankle is not in so much good shape. Now, there are ways to train yourself to head ball, and here is an example. Next survive all that force. Hmm, amazing things. Now, here is a typical example of a goalkeeper doing his job.
Well, I'll definitely say he's my keeper of the year. Now, no matter how many times you are skillful, just make sure you score. After all that effort, I'm really sure he was shocked that the ball still didn't get in. Remember, you can find us on our various social media platforms. On Twitter, we are at ZTN News as well as at ZTN Sport. On Facebook, we are at Zim Papers uh, TV Network. On YouTube, uh, ZTN. And our website is uh, ztn.co.zw. <laughs> Watching Sports Daily here on ZTN. Now take a look at a netball. Felicitas Pango's self isolation ends tomorrow. It hasn't been a stormy one for the new Sari Storms signing. The Zimbabwe captain is now an ambassador for a renowned kit company. She talks to our reporter Brighton Jari. I'm so happy that uh, we're playing in the Vitality Netball Super League for the 2021 season. And I'm so excited or super excited uh, to announce that I'm now an ambassador for Gilbert Netball. So, yeah. Well, the Vitality Super League season is slated for February 2020. Kwangwa is eager to get in action, but how has been the restricted life? I'm now in the UK and I want to thank God that uh, I got here safely. Uh, it's very unfortunate uh, that I had to undergo 14 days of quarantine. Of course, we, we all know that uh, we're still trying to fight against uh, COVID-19. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm here. I'm trying to self-isolate. And I just thank God that um, for the past 11 days, I've been doing pretty well. I haven't noticed or I haven't developed uh, any of the COVID-19 symptoms. So I'm so excited uh, that um, in three days' time, I will be out of quarantine. And I'm also expecting um, to have uh, my first training session on Thursday. So yeah, I'm almost there. Now, due to COVID-19, the Vitality Super League season was cancelled. Teams have already finalized their 2021 season squad. And Kwangwa is keen to meet up with her new teammates. I'm so excited that uh, very soon <laughs> I'll be meeting my new teammates and I believe now it's three days to go. Yeah. So, um, you know, for the past week, yeah, I've been trying uh, to make sure that I keep my body in shape. So I've been doing um, a lot of cardio workout sessions <laughs> on my own, of course, so that at least um, I try to maintain uh, my fitness level and also in preparation um, for the upcoming training sessions uh, with my team. Felicitas is known to be a fitness fanatic. So how has she been staying in shape? So every day or for the past <laughs> 10 days, I have tried uh, to make sure that um, at least I have uh, some mini training sessions on my own. So um, I've been doing more of cardio workouts so as to keep my body in shape and also my fitness levels in preparation uh, for the upcoming training sessions <laughs> with my team. And that's all we had for today. Sports Daily is back again tomorrow with another rundown of what's happening in the sporting world. I'm Shamita Sweka and thank you for watching.